Michael, I need to get down and I'll try not to drop in the camera with getting down because I hate dropping the camera. That, I don't know if that likes me dropping the camera, so I'll be very careful. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. If you watched yesterday's vlog, we picked up this very large cart full of mulch. And as you can see, we've gotten a good chunk of it spread. The plan is to finish this up and I'm not gonna have enough for all my garden, so we're gonna go back and get another, <laughs> we almost have a cottonwood tree blowing fuzz everywhere. <laughs> um, so we're gonna head back, pick up one more load. Probably won't get that second load spread today. We can do it. Oh, you're like the Energizer Bunny. I'll show you what we did so far. You find me under the wheelbarrow? <laughs> under the wheelbarrow, there you are. Check mine, son. No, mound it more than that. Let's get this really high and mounded. It's going to help with the weeds and keep the moisture in by the blueberries, which means hopefully bigger blueberries. You guys will do well with it. All right, so Charity and John worked on edging these blueberry bushes. It had been two years since we had done it, and so that grass had just grown right up to the bushes. And blueberries' roots are along the surface. And when that happens, if the grass is there, the grass competes for the blueberries' moisture, so the blueberries don't do as well. These guys have some berries on them. Um, I would say this is this plant. This one particularly was our is our best year so far. You can see all the flowers on there. Um, this plant looks really healthy this year. So we did those. We still need to do this garden over here on the patio. I have not touched the patio. This needs to get swept off, mulched, weeded, all that. This little section here. I weeded the garden and I also put in, what is those? Bulbs? Paper white oh, flower bulbs. Pe paper white flower flowers. And there's a row right here and a row right here, right here. And then I did all the way around here. I picked all the weeds and we have a little blueberry bush that broke off. And oh, yeah, a the tiny little blueberry bush. There because I try not to cover up that and we weeded the garden and put down mulch. In case if any of you are wondering about the sidings on our house, uh, we're hoping to get that done this summer. I don't know if we're going to or not. Obviously it's falling off and uh, hopefully we can get it done. And we want it to look like this here. This is one I did a couple of years ago, that side. So we're hoping to make this look like this. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully this year, but maybe next year. We have a tri-colored house. We have Yeah, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but at least it's on the back where no one can see it except for our um, viewers. Red. And then we have baby, baby blue, blue and, and then we have white. white. <laughs> Everything what babies wear. A lot of you might be wondering, how is that grow box working that my mom got us? Here it is. This tomato plant is doing fabulous. So what we're going to end up... Okay, here is a comparison. These yes. are the same, same age. Same age. <laughs> we have this one here and then this Look one here. Stock. This is just amazing. We're going to have things before we go camping. Yeah, that would be nice. So what we're going to end up doing is, because I know that I'm going to need staking for this tomato plant, we're going to take that planter here, and then all my canna lily built bulbs died this winter. They just did not survive in the, in the basement. So I'm actually going to put this pot potter right back here, and then we're going to use the deck to help um, support the tomato plants. Are you ready? Where are you planting it? Right over here. Good? Well, we should probably level it out. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one. Let's see. There's just a lot it. of mulch here. If yeah. You, well, take some away from the middle. How are you going to stake it out? Oh, they're just going to grow tall. When they grow tall, we'll start strapping them onto this. What I did here today is this was back here, the edging. I extended it about a foot and I'm putting tomato plants here. I've told you guys before that we've been having issues with not enough sun for our tomatoes because our hedge is growing so big. So we're gonna put some here. I'm hoping that the runoff from the chicken manure will run off to the tomatoes, make giant tomatoes. And then we just went ahead and mulched all of this as well. So these irises aren't doing all that well. They at some time, at some point they may get pulled out. I may just keep putting tomatoes here, right where they get fertilizer and it's easy to weed. This is my echinacea plant here. I've got some, I think this is Cosmos art? I think that's Cosmos. No, it's not Cosmos. Clematis. Oh, that's Clematis. what it is. I knew it started with a C. 
And then this, this was a gorgeous, gorgeous pile of uh, echinacea. And Mr. Bunny Rabbit came over and mowed it down. So I'm not too happy with Mr. Bunny Rabbit. And then our rhubarb here. Even though we edge it, it's been outgrowing our edging now. <laughs> Which is okay. We need to make, um, we need to do the strawberry rhubarb jello jam because they've asked for that recipe for, I think, for three years. And I haven't filmed it yet. Maybe this is the year. Maybe. In yesterday's video, we showed you that we got the pallets, and you can see that our pallets are kind of falling apart, so uh, we're going to take care of that. This is our compost pile, and I need to turn it over, too. I'm, I'm probably going to take that pile and put it in the garden today, or at least the bottom of the pile. I don't think the top is totally composted yet. And maybe this one, too. And then we're going to rotate that and hopefully get some new pallets in there today. And then this morning before everyone got up, I got out here and we weeded this and then I've put in more mulch here. So this year I'm putting really thick layers of mulch because we didn't mulch last year. We want to um, help build it up and it, it does. It's great for weed control, which is going to save me time later on. Our cherry tree is doing very well this year. Um, th this thing is probably about eight years old and then we got a handful of cherries last year. This year, it looks like, well, hopefully we might get a whole bunch. We'll see what happens. We have little girls playing in the sprinkler. Oh, you're going to put that in the sprinkler? I'm kind of taking it easy today because you can probably see my eyes. They don't look good. I think I have viral pink eye, and I've had it for the last two weeks. So I'm just trying to take it easy, and it's hard for me to not work. So uh, I am working, but I'm just not working really hard. I'm kind of working at about half speed. I don't get sick very often, but uh, this one kind of hit me pretty hard. So that's why we haven't done a lot of uh, videoing lately, uh, just because I haven't been feeling too well. But I'm hoping it gets over soon and I can get back to full speed. <laughs> We're ready for dinner, lunch, and we have some hot dogs. And we roasted them on the fire. And then after lunch, we have some marshmallows we're going to roast. Do you want golden brown? A little bit longer, you gotta keep fire. it in there in between those two. Now the okay, kids are I'll cooking marshmallows. No, don't stir on fire. A little bit more. Here are Joy's dangerous fire marshmallow. John, could you please pass me a marshmallow for a little, Joy? Uh, is this one? Uh, no. It's no. sticking out a little bit. It's sticking out on the top. Yeah, it needs to go longer. Okay. Peter, you're eating that one. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting that one. I know. How does it look? Can I bake my own? Would you like one video camera? Sure. Here. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. Cook it again, Peter. Okay. Stick it in the water. Great. I hurt my dad. Grace wants to cook one for Daddy. Be careful, Grace. Oh no, no, try not to get it in the in the ashes. You gotta hold it, hold it up. There you go. Grace, on fire. Mine caught on fire a couple too many times. It's still going. It's still going. <laughs> what? Uh, does anyone else want to eat that one? I I don't. <laughs> it is extremely hard to blow out a burning marshmallow. Daddy, look at this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to eat that one. I'll eat that one. I'll eat that one. No more marshmallows. They're all burnt. We are going to go get some more mulch because we finished up all the other mulch. And it's really hot. It's like, or it's only 80 degrees, 89. But humidity makes it way hotter. There's the trailer back there. We're back and we're going to fill the trailer up again. That looks like a body, kind of. It doesn't look good. Well, I assure you, there's not a body in there. We're not editing this. Stay with us. What did you do to this? I just bungeed it down. Well, you bungeed them very tight. Well, there's a little bit left over mount. See, I told you. I told you there was not a body in there. Uh -oh. The trailer is full, and we're gonna strap it down and head home. And the pile is a little smaller than it was. 
one leg a lot smaller. I have to admit to taking a nap today. Um, i trying to not work too hard. My tendency is to always want to work, 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 and I actually love working, but sometimes I need to make myself not work. So I took a nap, and I am up, and I'm feeling better, and I'll show you what happened when I took a nap. Janelle wanted to get the tomatoes planted, so she got that many planted so far. And I am going to climb up that ladder and start trimming trees because those trees are overhanging our other garden and making too much shade. And we want it, well, we want stuff to grow there well. So I'm going to climb that up there and do some trimming. John's working hard finishing up the rest of the garden. A lot of our stuff is planted, and this is what we have left. It's going down there a little bit. Yay! Now Janelle is working on planting her cauliflower and broccoli. We're hoping the rabbit doesn't eat it. Yeah. I'm not feeling very hopeful about this this year. Yeah, we're going to plant those little uh, tubes over it, so hopefully that helps. We can keep the cutworms and the voles and the mice and the rabbits away. We'll be successful. I'm putting the paper colors on here because A, the plants are really tiny, and B, it helps slow down the cutworm. So it usually works pretty well, but it doesn't prevent against the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, those tubes are preventing against the rabbit, hopefully. I'm working over here turning some soil so we can plant other stuff over here. And then we have some spinach which wintered over from last year. We're almost done out here. Janelle is watering the tomatoes and she also watered the stuff back there. I got the trellis put up. I guess I know it's not pretty, but it's going to be totally functional for the cucumbers. And we brought the seeds out here and we're going to look for cucumbers. I'm not even sure if we have any. We have so many seeds that we've been trying to use them up, so we didn't actually buy many seeds this year. We do have some cucumbers, so we're going to plant those. We're going to plant those and then we're going to call it a night, at least outside. Then we have a lot of inside work to do. Then we'll have this part of our garden done. But we still have some nasty stuff over there and over there that we have to deal with. We have a lot this, we have a lot of room left to be planted. So all of this has to be dealt with, which I haven't gotten to yet. This will, this will consist of our squ winter squash and our pumpkins. Anything that we want to plant on this side. Then on this side, I always plant our summer squashes over here and zucchini, anything like that. I do foresee us having extra room for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> and I think maybe part of it is because I'm doing more companion planting. So like we have our broccoli, we have our broccoli and cauliflower here, but then alongside of it, I have lettuce and then I have spinach on either side. So by the time the lettuce and the spinach is done growing, um, the broccoli will be so big and it'll shade that other stuff. I can just pull that out. So that's sort of, you're getting a lot of things in one row. Here I only have my beets so far. I still have a whole nother row of things to put in. I've got my broccoli, again, more lettuce here. And then on this upper section here, I have lots and lots of baby Swiss chard. So that still leaves, leaves me a whole row here. I have some kale that's planted. I still got room. So I have to go through my seeds, see if there's something in particular I want to plant or use up um, and go from there. Cucumbers are planted and we're, all we have left is to pick up our rather large mess that we yes, have out here. We did make a mess, didn't we? Yes, we did. Me get you surprise. So, don't tell him what it is. It's something that there's a pancakes, um, a donut, and um, a glass of water. So, he is working so hard. See him? He's sick a little bit. Daddy. The rest Daddy. Of problem for that. Hi. inside. What? I have a little thing for you. Oh, you do? What is it? It's something. It's a surprise. Okay. The surprise is in the house. It's inside, Daddy. Okay. Something that is over here. What is it? Is it under here? Yeah. Oh, a pancake, water, and... Two pancakes and water and a donut. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> mm. Very good cut. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you for our next vlog. Good night. Good night.